Hello, this video will cover how to start your class for the next semester. First, you want to go to the dashboard in Canvas after logging in. Then you're going to select the course, the new course. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you'll see it has the option to create a new module or add existing content. Since I've already taught this class in the previous semester, I'm going to click on Add Existing Content. Next, you will see a heading that says Import Content. You're going to select the drop down menu box and you're going to decide what you're going to copy it from. Since I've used Canvas before and the course was in Canvas, I'm going to copy a Canvas course. Then it will show me the search for a course and because I taught this course in the fall I'm going to go ahead and find the name of the course select that and I have a box that's selected that says include completed courses so that hopefully any courses that you have completed previously will also be visible to you to select from then I'm going to select the radio button that says all content because I want the all content of the previous course and I'm just going to go in and delete the items that I don't need um, later on. It's a little bit easier th than that. Now, if you're only selecting a few items, then I would suggest go to select specific content. And then after you do that, you're going to see options before you press the import. You want to click on adjust events and due dates. And this is where I highly recommend you figure out the beginning date and the ending date of your course that you're planning to offer. So I've already done that. So because these are the dates from the previous, I want to change it to my new dates. So whatever the start date is, and normally I start it the Sunday before um, the actual class begins so that I can allow students who work during the week or who want to get a um, head start of it, I go ahead and select the day before so that Sunday the 24th if you want I guess you could actually go to that Saturday but I'm gonna open it up start date 24 and once I've selected that I don't worry about a time and then I'm going to select the end date which happens to be that Friday um, following the end of the course which is let's see the 31st so I'm going to go ahead and select that, the last date. So what it's going to do is basically shift all my assignments, due dates, and so forth in accordance with these new beginning and ending dates. And that's what I will use. And then I will select the import option. And you'll notice that it is in the queue and it will send me a notification once it's completed the conversion of copying the course. And that is all you need to do. This process should take a few minutes and once it's completed the course copy you will see um, the button Q um, that changed to running is now changed to complete it. And then there is one issue and I like to go ahead and click on that to find out what the issue is and it says missing link found in important content and you can fix that or edit that um, later on there's a link issue with my syllabus and after that that's all you need to do so remember today is a great day to teach online